Are we on? We're on. Uh -oh. Hi guys, Alex Etches from Golf Box, and I'm with a guy that doesn't really need an introduction. Yes, I do. All round great guy, Mr. Roger Cleveland. Welcome, Roger. Thank you. Thank great, you for having Great to be us. with you. I, I love being with you. It's fantastic. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. You've got something pretty special in your hands. I do. This What's is this is um, the second generation Phil Mickelson or PM wedge, um, and Phil uh, lives nearby. He's constantly <laughs> tinkering. We don't get him on the grinding wheel. We can't afford that. <laughs> lose um, some fingers. Lose some fingers. You could do that. But he's, he says, what if we do this? What if we do that? What if we did that? And so what we have done, we finally put down the pencil and we're bringing it to you. Okay. And some of the changes are pretty amazing. And this wedge is probably the most comprehensive uh, technical wedge in the market. And it, it, it's so functional. It's a little crazy looking, but it really functions. Okay. <laughs> Once you start hitting it, you put it down, and as a traditionalist as I am, I put it down. I ooh, you know, yeah. whoa, and and this is about to take off, you know, <laughs> yeah. on its own. But when you when you start hitting some shots, you start to understand why. Okay, you have a little higher toe, a little lower heel, which actually accentuates uh, the the hitting area. And Phil loves to open up the face. Okay, when you open up the face, what happens is the face starts to get smaller to the, the, the plane of the, of the shot and you start to move up the face. So he put score lines on the first iteration as you know, but we have now put the micro grooves that we have on the MD4, which is a fabulous wedge, yep. and we've put them on this, okay? But that wasn't enough, okay? No, of course. So <laughs> what we did is because you hit this on, in the open, uh, uh, position so much, we angled the grooves at a 20 degree angle, so they're now perpendicular when you open the face to the line of flight. Very good, very good. And that's three to four hundred RPM on a little 10 to 15 yard shot, you know, wow. and that's where you need it. You need it, that it control, been, yeah, okay? Yeah. Now, the micro grooves on a full shot out of rough and wet conditions are about a thousand RPM, so you have that combination that's really terrific. We had some other things. We, we changed the sole a little bit. It's like a mini sure out. It's wider, C grind, has a tight radius so that the toe and the heel is relieved. So when you open the face, that leading edge stays low. And that's the key to this. You don't want that moving up. You got to get under the ball, right? That leading edge is not your friend. So you got to get under. We've also added some offset. And he likes to add offset because he likes to drive the ball low. And it helps on that particular type of shot to get your hands a little forward. Okay. So all those things. We have, again, a little very clean look. Yeah. You know, a little very, green very nice. that, that we have uh, carried forward. The, that's the, the color of our money over here. I don't know, but that's what, <laughs> that's what you get when you use it. But anyway, it's a great combination. It's like cheating out of the bunker. Spin as well. Isn't that nice? That's lovely. No. And easy to hit flop shots and, and get under the ball. Open now just release it early, real early. There we go. Voila. You have to try it. Now we have new lofts. We, we added a 54. We have 54, 6, 8, 60, and 64. And of course, we have a few left handers. Yeah, excellent, obviously. Just yeah, someone called absolutely. Mr. Filming. We, we have another finish. It's <laughs> called a Tour, tour Grey. It's a beautiful finish. You'll see it in a minute. Uh, but this lovely chrome is nice. How, uh, how much time does Phil give to making this kind of wedge? Does he spend a lot of time with you? Well, absolutely. He, he well, you know, the, the two, and this is one area, you gotta t spend some time in your short game, and that's what he does. He spends about 60%, but he does, he does go after pins, you know, and, and, and so he <laughs> short sides that. himself yep. all the Doesn't time. Matter, but... And that's why, you know, he you know, hits 10 greens and shoots 68. You know, and that's how, that's how the pros do it. They yeah. work on the short game, and it's the easiest way the amateur golfer can lower the scores, increase their uh, enjoyment of the game, and beat, beat your neighbor when you get Be out. Be your neighbor. There you yeah, go. Absolutely. What, what <laughs> you got to do is take some lessons the next time. Instead of taking a lesson with your driver, take some short game lessons. Yeah, you learn I'm, a lot. I'm guilty of that, Roger. I'll and, be honest. And at Callaway, even on our website, we have a wedge occasion section 
that you can navigate in our website and go in and see some fabulous uh, instruction. Yeah, sure. Not by me, by pros. That's well. But I can show you a couple of things. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. Anyway. Um, no, I really appreciate your time talking to the Wedge. Yep. You've done a great job. You've obviously done this before. No, no, this is my first time. <laughs> so anyway, thank you. I think great you've to be with everything. you. Thank you, Roger. Pleasure. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank, thank you. you.